Okay, it's not my first pool. Sorry, it's like my first rings. Crab ring pool. Oh my god, you guys, look at this. This has got to be like a two and a half pounder or so. Maybe 2.2 .2 or so. Oh my god, you guys, this is a, a nice, this is a nice big. Oh my god. I catch a lot of crabs. Yeah, a lot of crabs. And with all these crabs, I've tried a lot of crab dishes, as many as I could find. 154 to date. So with all these blue crabs you just watched me catch, I'm gonna show you the top five crab dishes. Let's go. Takikomi Gohan is a crab-flavored mixed rice dish that uses everyone's favorite Chinese sausage. Now full disclosure, this is actual Takikomi Gohan. I only called the crab dish that because of convenience and its resemblance. You'll want to use smaller algae-free crabs that will fit in the rice cooker and are best done steamed. You'll have to thoroughly clean the crab both inside and out because this thing is literally going on top of the rice. Now you're going to lay everything on top of the rice. Crabs first, then the ginger, and then the Chinese sausage after that. To make the sauce, simply saute some garlic and green onion. Add a lot of light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, and sugar. And bring to a boil. Remove the crab and the ginger. And then put the sauce in. And then have at it. Mix it all up. Add some green onion, mix it all up. This is honestly one of the best tasting rice dishes I know. It's super good and a perfect way to use up your small crabs. Even my sister likes it, so it's amazing. The only problem is it's not really a crab dish and the crab comes out just like an ordinary steamed crab. That's why it's just number five. But considering how good it makes the rice, this is definitely a good use of your crab. Crab Tang Hoon is a Singaporean or Malay crab dish that is usually served in a clay pot and its sauce is usually made out of oyster sauce or soy sauce but I use EXO sauce which I think it makes it a lot better just trust me on this one use EXO sauce it comes in a small expensive jar but it's worth it now here are your basic three ingredients ginger, garlic, and green onion. Pretty much every good crab dish uses these, so you'll see these pretty often. Now like all good stir-fried crab dishes, the crabs are cut up into pieces, dipped into cornstarch, and then pan-fried. Tossed around in the oil until they're about half cooked. And then you can add the ginger and the garlic and just continue tossing. Now to avoid overcooking, the crab is removed. And then we're gonna make the sauce just like in Takikomi Gohan. Here's the XO sauce. We're gonna scoop up a big generous portion. Yeah, that stuff is the good stuff. Mix it around for a bit and then toss the crabs back in. At this point, the crabs are not yet fully cooked, so add some chicken broth or just water if it's already salty enough, cover and simmer. Five minutes later, the crab will be fully cooked. 
Use the remaining soup to cook the vermicelli. This part is awesome. You just stir it around until it absorbs all the liquid and soon enough, it'll be fully cooked and delicious too. Now this dish crab tang hoon is seriously delicious. I remember the first time I made it, my roommate literally fought me over it. And like, we finished the vermicelli in like one minute. But look who's eating good now. Honestly, I had to say it was all due to the exo sauce. If you make it the regular way, it'll probably taste no different from any other stir fry crab. I like how I remember it. That exo sauce is just so good. Oh my goodness. Man, it's such a small jar. I better use it wisely. This is a salted duck egg. And inside is a salted egg yolk. And most people eat this with rice, but instead, we're gonna mash it up, cook it in some butter, and then top your crab with it. How great is that? Now let's look how to make it. First, you're gonna deep fry your crabs. By now, you should be an expert. Wash your crab, cut your crab into pieces, coat them with cornstarch, and then deep fry. Next, we're gonna saute some garlic, ginger, green onion, and red chili. And then we're adding butter. Yep, butter. And then in that we're gonna mix our mashed up egg yolk and flavor it with chicken stock or bouillon. Now believe it or not, we're actually going to be using some heavy cream to make our sauce. Pour some in and mix it around to make a nice creamy sauce. Now here I'm gonna add the strangest ingredient, curry leaves. What is this stuff anyways? It tastes horrible, like plastic. Man, I don't even know why people use this. So instead, I use curry powder. And although it's totally different, I ain't complaining, it makes it better. I remember the first time I made this was when one of my friends randomly asked me to take him crabbing and so we went and then back home it just so happened that I was planning on making this dish that day for the first time and so I made it and he really lucked out because it was just absolutely delicious. That chicken stock, curry powder and salted egg yolk combo was just like impeccable. You have to try this top 3 dish. The minced garlic stir-fried crab requires mainly rice, wine, soy sauce, oyster sauce, sugar, but most importantly, garlic. Oh, what's that? We're frying again? You know the drill. Wash, quarter, cornstarch, fry. To make sure you fry the insides of the shells, waft the oil in like so. It's pretty fun, to be honest. Oh look, garlic, ginger, and green onion. Who would have guessed? But yeah, garlic is super important in this dish. You'll need a, quite a bit, at least five or six cloves, or an elephant garlic if you've seen one of those. Not as much as like the Bifeng Tang Cao Shed, the Typhoon Shelter Crab, but a fair amount, and it's delicious too.
So you're gonna saute the veggies until fragrant. And after that, you're gonna add the crabs and toss those around as well. Now this is just rice wine, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sugar dissolved for your convenience. Just dump it in and you're good. Easy, super easy. This dish is awesome. It can easily contend for number one. In fact, I would probably feel more comfortable making this for other people than my number one dish. The minced garlic crab is just a variation of my number one pick and is also what I'd call a Lan Fun import. I got this recipe from this app called Lan Fun, Lazy Meals. It's a pretty cool app. You guys should check it out sometime. I learned a couple recipes on there. tough choice but this is number two man that garlic really bring, brings out the flavor of the crab a seafood flavor it almost tastes like hagao the shrimp dumplings at the dim sum or like the salmai that they have it is that good and you can eat the shell too Now before I get to the top crab dish, I have to list some honorable mentions. First of all, there's a lot of sweet and sour crab dishes that are all really similar at the top of my list. They're all really tasty and this is also my go-to method of cooking spiny lobsters. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, please check it out. Bankan Kua is one of the best tasting soup dishes I've ever had and it's overall an awesome Vietnamese dish but it's more of a shrimp dish than a crab dish and doesn't add much to the crab itself so it's just an honorable mention this time. Lastly, when talking about crab dishes, how can I not mention the traditional steamed crab? It's easy, convenient for large quantities, it peels easily, and fun to dip the sauce. You just steam them all up and then plunge them in an ice bath. It cools them down and makes them a lot easier to peel. Watching YouTube videos or a movie while I pick a ton of steamed crabs is a favorite activity of mine for sure. But this top five is about taste, not enjoyment. Number one, ginger onion crab. Now, who saw this one coming? I mean, I talk about this dish all the time. Ginger onion crab is the best crab dish, okay? And man, it's just so simple, so easy, and it's delicious, like absolutely like ginger. I don't know, just ginger just brings out the flavor in crab, okay? It, it's a must have. It is the best crab dish. Now I've made this crab dish with every crab species I encounter. Dungeness crab, raw crab, blue crab, you name it. But the reason why this dish is number one is solely due to the Samoan crab. I'm serious. When I first caught my very own Samoan crab in mm. October 2012, oh my goodness. When I bit into mm. that, I made ginger onion crab. It was like magic. Mm. It was That's absolutely good. insane. Absolutely insane. It was like some magical. It was like the best year. tasting crab dish I've ever had. Oh, so fresh. And yeah, you guys, you have to try this dish. Ginger if you crab. ever run into a mud crab, Silla Serrata, Simone crab, crab, man, is seriously this is the best crab the dish, best you crab guys. dish, you guys. Anyway, this is my top five crab dishes. Ginger onion crab, minced garlic stir fried crab, salted egg yolk crab, crab tang hoon with exo sauce, and takigomi gohan with crab. Now, one thing that kind of bothers me is that all of these crab dishes are Asian and pretty much they're all Chinese too. So I'm wondering if this list was created with a lot of cultural bias. I don't know. I really have tried over a hundred something crab dishes and you know these were just the best ones I don't know well if you guys have your own favorite crab list feel free to leave it down below in the comments but I beg you if you guys still have boiled crab in your top five then you haven't tried enough crab so definitely try some more crab dishes get out there cook catch some crab and yeah let me know what crab dishes you like thanks for watching